Right. Back again. I had to pop out. I've been at B and Q. I've got some of this 12 mil square. Um, half a meter of it was six pounds sixty, which is bloody ridiculous. Um, they're the only place open on a Sunday, so. Well, I think it might have been a meter. Yeah, it was a meter. A meter was six pounds sixty, something like that. Um, it's ridiculous. Uh, but they're the only place open on a Sunday, so that's what we'll go with. So what I'm going to do is cut a piece off, the right length, that will sit on here, it will bolt through the sides, and then the plate, this plate here, will bolt through and onto, onto there. And uh, hopefully that will give us a straight line push to accurately measure and obviously all I'll be losing here is 12mm when my tail stock comes in which I'm not that bothered about because 9 times out of 10 there's a chuck in it or whatever so I think that's going to work quite well um, so I'll cut a bit and then we'll mark out there we go I've got, zoom in there, what I've done is I've scribed a centre line, worked out where I wanted the two holes, and I've uh, drilled them, and then count sunk them so the capo bolts will sit in there flush. Um, yeah, so all I'm going to do is this will end up That'll end up on there like that, and uh, I'll mark through here, drill and tap them, and we should have ourselves a nice little um, attachment there, it should work quite well. So I'll get them marked and drill. So, I've got it marked out, <coughs> marked the first hole, drilled that, and uh, I'm going to tap it, but unfortunately, tap wrench is too big, and that's a fairly small one. Had a little hunt around in uh, one of my random boxes that a chap gave me a couple of years ago, and uh, I found this little beauty. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on it. Should do. There we go. Um, that is a little more and right tap wrench. Um, probably means absolutely nothing to you know most people, but it's not shiny. It's not fancy. But it, uh, you know, times like these, something a little bit obscure where I just needed a, you know, I've got a fairly small gap to get in. And this is obviously wound as far back as it can be anyway. Um, it just, you know, gives you a little bit of an advantage. You know, basically what I'm saying is it does pay to hold, hold, to hold on to and hoard random bits that you think aren't going to come in useful. And uh, it is more and right, so it's a fairly good, good brand. Old school, made in Sheffield. I'm sure there's going to be people out there that don't agree with, uh, I think I touched on it when I was doing this bit over here, you know, they're not going to agree with drilling into the castings for the lathe 
but there really is when you're fitting something like this there's no no other way of doing it um, you know you've, you've you're left with the option of fit it or don't and uh, as I want to have you know scales fitted my option is to fit it so you know at the end of the day it's my lathe it's not really going to affect anyone else unless I sell it which I don't plan on um, so really it's not that much to worry about right that's tapped out lovely I'll get the other one marked, drilled and uh, sort that out here we go as you can see the bar is now mounted and uh, what I've done is I put some packers that were underneath on onto the uh, grub screws underneath which are for my gib stripping on the slide and uh, I got it up so it's when I run a square over the top of here um, it was the same height drilled it, tapped it, I've now mounted it it's solid <coughs> the DRO is now mounted um, I've drilled and tapped into the bar so that's now see if I can bring this this way I've drilled and tapped into the bar here and here the holes in this plate match um, just tip you forward slightly there we go, the holes there and there match um, I'm now going to tap them out and then it'll be time to see how we lined up there, these holes here are slotted either end so I've got a bit of movement what I might end up doing is slacking them I'm off winding, them, winding it forwards and backwards so that sits where it should um, but we'll see so Yeah, I'm quite excited to get it going really. Um just be a lot easier when you're trying to get correct diameters and that. Um it's essentially as accurate as a vernier. So that'll be plenty of accurate for things I do at home. I mean, you know, it doesn't need to be any more than that. I might mic the occasional thing if it's got to be that accurate, but we'll get to that when it comes, really. I don't know what material this is, you know, what grade, obviously it's mild steel, but it was just in their rack at B&Q. Um, it's something like a 12mm square bar varnished or something, um, but it, it taps like absolute shit. Um, the swarf uh, seems to like gum up the tap, it's really horrible um, and like I say if it wasn't a last resort because it was a Sunday I probably would have got something else from somewhere else because this is just awful um,
Right. So that's them. Right, that's fairly tight on there. Just grab a couple of grub screws for that. I think sit grub screws in, that's not what I meant at all. I meant cap heads, but there we go. That's one. Feels good. Doesn't feel any different to how it did. Doesn't feel tight, doesn't feel like it's binding. No, oh, I'll come off the end of the thread there. Too far. Right, see if we can get that back. There we go. Well, if you, yeah, you can see the numbers. Beautiful. Really happy with that. That has come out brilliantly. Like I said, um, my plan is to, obviously I've got one to fit when it arrives, but my plan is to come off of here, this top corner, come out, and then bring it along to the back edge of the lathe, all the way along here, with a, uh, like a, you know, a splash screen or something down the back, or, done nice and proper um, so that will then this will be inside of it because um, it will sort of finish behind here and uh, obviously when this travels along it, you know anything that falls behind there or whatever for whatever reason won't catch it um, the other thing I've got to do is Obviously, we've, this is now on like a 
long cord and a, just a screen. I've got to decide where I want to mount this. Um, so far my current sort of thinking was up there on top of the lathe maybe having a plate that comes up the back maybe a swivel um, and have it somewhere like that so I can move it um, we shall see so there we go one lathe DRO Really happy with that. Really happy.